Alright, this is the last of the three videos for this section and right now we're gonna look at limits only graphically so we're not gonna put in numbers anymore we're just gonna look at what happens and this graph right here shows you a piecewise defined function and you can ask several questions about it well firstly well does a function have a limit as x goes to 1 that would be the first thing you could look at well you can then say well I have to approach x equals 1 well I can approach it from the left or from the right from the right the function looks like it's going to go towards the point y equals 1 from the left on the other hand the function looks like it's going to go towards uh, y equals 3 but what value does the function have? Well, those three different questions we can ask and we can answer right here. Firstly, the limit from the right, as I said, from the right, and that's what this plus right here means, from the right. Uh, that tells, that would be positive one. From the left, that mean that is what this minus means going from the left and um, that limit right there is positive 3 you see right here positive 3 okay so let me erase those annotations just so that we see it cleanly so let's delete that and let's delete this right here all right, so you have two different values for the limit from the right and the left. Well, remember the definition of the limit we gave said that the value had to be unique. So which one do you choose? Well, you cannot choose. We're not going to make anyone uh, our preferred side. So uh, we'll say that the limit does not exist. So we don't discriminate against righties or lefties. <laughs> So in that sense that we have we have no limit. Now the function itself. The function itself when you evaluate it, well the function is taking the value of y equals 2 right here. So f of 1 is 2, limit from the right is 1, limit from the left is 3. But the then but then the limit, since there's not a unique limit, does not exist. So that is that. Let's take a look at this other one. So we have several questions here. I guess I did have the answers already written. Let's analyze them. If we go to x equals 1 from the left, so we're traveling on our graph here, we're going to go to, eh, I say 10 or probably 9. I guess 9 is probably better. We should change that. Uh, we'll say it's 9. Now from the right, we're going to the same value of y again 9 but now since the limit from the left and the right match we'll say the limit is 9 I guess when I drew the picture I thought it was a 10 but it seems to me that it's more like a um, like a 9 oh well f of 1 when you go to x equals 1 this one does look like a 5 f of 1 instead is 5. So the open circle tells me that this is not the value that the function is telling me is taking, sorry. The closed circle tells me this is what the value of the function what the value of the function at that x equals to 1. So in that case it would be f of 1 equals 5 as we have down below. Okay. All right, let's move on to x equals 3. When we go to 3 from the left right here what are we going to? Well, let's go to x equals 3 on from the left is more or less 20 as we have right here. So from the left 20, from the right we'll claim is a 10 right there. So since these two guys are different, the limit from the left and the right, the limit does not exist. And now the function itself, notice that the solid dot is on the 
right. So that is going to tell you that f of 3 is in fact 5. Ah, 5, 10, sorry. My bad. 10, right here. A uh, little, little, between 9 and 10 looks like it, but let's say 10. Okay. Um, all right, now, um, the limit again does not exist because you have two different values from the left and from the right, but the function uh, does match the right limit. So this would this function would be in that sense would be right continuous, but we'll talk about that later. Do not worry about what I said. So let's make sure we recap this from the limit as x goes to 1 from the left 9 from the right 9 but the function does not take the value of 9 the function takes the value of 5 I'm reading my values on the left on the on the y-axis and then as x goes to 3 from the left I'm going up to 20 roughly and from the right I'm going up to 10 and the function itself takes that value Okay, so that's all you that's all you have to do for for this section so short video for this one um, hope you guys I hope it does it does make sense if you have any questions you know you can um, either write it write it on the comments or um, perhaps join the uh, online session uh, so that's that for today guys uh, so this finishes section 1.1 and now uh, the next video will be on section 1.2 and it's how to find limits algebraically.